Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, we are going to see another two transformations in Azure Data Factory data flows, that is condition split and union transformations. Without further delay, let's begin. What we are going to do today? So we have uh, sales data and we have a conditional split. Uh, so what we have is this data contains the complete set that contains different location. The requirement is to split the data into two different files. This is the conditional split. That is a, a typo error. Ignore about that. And another um, transformation that we are going to do is like combine. This is opposite of it. So you have a two data set and you are going to combine it into a single data set. That is the whole purpose we are going to do it today. This channel contains free content that contains a Power BI, MS BI and the fundamentals of Azure and SQL Server. Please utilize this free content, share this uh, content with your friends and colleagues. Let's begin our today's task. So what we are going to do today, we have a storage account and first task is to do the conditional split. Let's see the data over here. We have a blob container. I'm using very simple examples and you can apply it for your complex scenarios in your business case. Uh, now we have uh, our data here. We can see the sales data that contains uh, different data over here. So what I want to do is I want to split only the Chennai data into a separate file and Bangalore data into different file. So this data contains a three location um, combined together. We want to split it into uh, two files, one for Chennai, another for Bank. That's what we are going to do. That is our first thing we are going to do here. So let's go to our pipelines and data flow. Let's create a new data flow. That is, I will uh, name it as um, split. So I will add a data source. We already have created a data source for this, right? So you can see, click here, select sales is a data source. Now, um, what we need to do is we need to split it. Click on this plus icon. The option we have is like conditional split. You can click on conditional split and you can expand this. See, enter the output stream name. We need to specify the two stream name. If it contains only one, we can use it. Now I can say Chennai flow, Chennai flow. And I need to specify the condition here. If you remember, we have did this in the filter. Um, um, uh, what do you call? Uh, filter transformation so it is pretty much same but filter completely filters the data but here we have an option to get multiple streams now one this is first condition I can add another stream that is Bangalore you can see you can just add the condition here Bangalore So I can copy paste this and edit it directly here instead of going for a um, editor. That's it. So you can see the final uh, over here, final thing, uh, the except these two, if there are any other data, it goes to the next block. That is rows that do not meet the any other condition will use the output stream. I don't want to um, other data to be flown. You can see now we got the two flow. One is for Chennai flow, another for Bangalore flow. So I got the two data. Now let us try to load it into the sync. So this is sync. That is uh, Chennai data. Uh, I hope uh, we already have a data set for Chennai. Um, let's try to use uh, this one. And always we can go and check. Uh, product clean so I can reuse this uh, data set right now. I don't want to create another one. So just provide the um, uh, name as sales 
అండర్ స్కోర్ చెన్నై రైట్ అండ్ యూ క్యాన్ కమ్ డౌన్ నావ్ యూ క్యాన్ యాడ్ అనదర్ సింక్ ఓవర్ హియర్ so you can have multiple sync see i'm doing all this exercise with the basic fundamental uh, things uh, so that with the in upcoming videos i will do much more uh, dynamic uh, things that we will demonstrate now here processed sales underscore bangle right so these are the two files i am creating right now so as i said before if you want to uh, name it uh, properly you can do that uh, properly over here uh, now when i go over here settings file name option it is default when you use the default as i said in my previous video you can have uh, different file names uh i mean the with the part so i don't want to do that so let me give the name over here bangalore underscore sales even and if you use this you need to use the single partition and click on this settings put a single partition chennai sales single partition okay that's it so now <coughs> we have read the data and we have used the conditional split here and loading into two different files let's try to publish this yeah we have used the single partition we have missed it this is there how about this this is not happen that's why let's republish this <coughs> so i use the product data source i re, I, i know that but for um, simplicity i have reused it because we create the data set and we can reuse for some other purpose as well so let's try to uh, run this one right now um for running this go to pipeline create pipeline let's say split execute and i need a data flows i need to choose split that's it we are ready let's try to run this one so it will take some time <laughs> okay it succeeded let's go and check in the uh, data files the process files sorry uh we need to go and check in the process folder processed there you go now we got uh, two files um you can see uh, chennai sales and bangalore sales that just now we created let's go and check only it contains the chennai data you can see only chennai data is available at the end uh, and let's try to see the bangalore data and it contains only bangalore data by using this uh, split a conditional split we have achieved our results let's try to do another pipeline uh, either in the same uh, way uh, like now what we are going to do the other way round as i said before we will load the product 1 and product 2 right in the source files 
product and product new let's assume like we have uh, some 11 products here uh, 11 rows basically 10 products and we are introducing uh, three more three more lines right so 10 plus 3 is uh, 13 13 rows should be there in the final output file let's try to do that let's create another flow that says union so my data source over here is product product data source let's go and check it's pointing to the correct file so it is pointing to the source file product yes this is correct then i need another file uh, let's use the um, another file let's use this time sales essay and we'll go and change this one to read from um, product 2 okay even though the file the data set is one while running this pipeline we can use the uh, choose the particular file then obviously this will run uh, that will take the respective files that is what we are doing right now so i choose this one now going back again now you have a source one as product and this is new product so let's try to do the union so union is um, the transformation that will combine this product 10 records and product another file three records into a single file let's try to configure this union so incoming stream is source one incoming union with source two then that's it so union by name or position okay but i think both are uh, having a same name in the column if you see these two files uh, i will share them in the link then i just copy paste it and added a few more files so name and position is fine so this is uh, a simple configuration now once you union it you can do just quickly see uh, the results as well in the data preview since this is on uh, it will pop up uh, quickly let's wait for a few more seconds there you go so now you can see these are the three lines i added i remember so leggings jeans kits and keychain these are three lines and top 10 rows are from the first file so it is combined successfully and that's it if you want to load uh, you can sync it in any other files let's try to configure um, uh, product to clean let me check uh, this time processed i will say product combined csv right now go back to you can publish all your changes basically we are reusing the uh, data sets you created for each thing you no need to uh, recreate and we can also dynamically pass the parameters that i will explain it a little later and you can see i have added um, this split execute right i can add uh, the data flow here um, the another task you can activate this blade the blades are very small and if you are very new you cannot uh, see this one you can just the check that uh, small uh, arrow mark so data flows again this is for uh, sales split general this is for the split this is for union so here i will call this particular data flow that is union that's it now i do not want to run this one so that is option to deactivate so i just deactivated it now let's run only this one okay uh, now this task is succeeded let's go and check 
um if you see here uh, since we have not given a single file it has splitted that product combined basically this is the whole behavior of uh, uh, storage accounts or blob storage it will do the partitioning based on certain uh, uh, parameters or behavior so that's why this will confuse you uh, let's see what happened right now so you can see it uh, even though it combined it creates a partition file that is it's split into two files so let me show you so this is the data from first file and this is the data from the second file so both are in the same file okay um, basically the blob storage will store in a partition base so this will confuse you that is the whole purpose from the beginning i'm saying for uh, understanding purpose you should use the uh, single i mean in the settings use the output to a single file i'm going to rerun it again after setting this single partition okay now we are going to publish again file name of the okay yes settings the file name is going to be product combined dot csv I'm publishing again let me rerun it for you let's uh, let's go back to um, split execute we have already disabled this let me run again it will execute only this one when you click on this let's wait for a few more seconds once it succeed we'll go and check it out yes it is already created now you can check this one both are combined so i hope uh, you got what we are trying to achieve now so we have uh, learned about how to split the data if you have a combined data you can split it into multiple files and if you have multiple files you can combine into a single file as well that's it if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset